Well, Coach, uh, we, we talked to Larry Coker and Tommy Tuberville yesterday. Uh, we interviewed them yesterday. And uh, they had high regards for you for, get, like we just mentioned, getting the University of Miami football program started. Talk about being at Florida Atlantic, you know, close close by to uh, where Coral Gables is. Is being at Florida Atlantic uh, something that you see that you can build up uh, in the Sun Belt Conference since you know the landscape of, of the Miami area? Well, uh, we, uh, we, we selected to come here after I had left Oklahoma and had gotten into the stocks and bonds business. Uh, the president of the school asked me if I would be interested in starting a program. And it, as I studied the situation, it became obvious that uh, Fort, La Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, and uh, uh, Boca Raton, all three towns north of Miami, uh, had a lot of uh, natural resources to develop a great football program. And that uh, if uh, handled correctly, we could... Uh, move quickly through the ranks of Division One AA uh, into Division I, uh, get into a conference, build a stadium, and then uh, move into higher levels. Uh, we've been doing this now for 12 years, two of the 12 years. The first two were raising money and building buildings and hiring coaches and getting schedules. And then the uh, 2001 we began to play and by 2005, we were in Division One. Uh, by 2006, we were playing for the conference championship. By 2007, we win the conference. Uh, we have been to two bowl games: the uh, New Orleans Bowl, where we beat Memphis State, and the uh, and the Motor City Bowl, where we beat Central Michigan. And uh, now uh, we're right on the throes of building a stadium. Once the stadium is in place, and if this bowl, uh, this conference realignment uh, takes place, uh, there could be an opportunity for us to find a uh, berth in a uh, BCS conference, which would allow us to play for the national championship. Well, what uh, what conferences uh, would you like to see? Uh, well, it's hard to say. I don't want to. I don't want to cut my make my options too small. But obviously the uh, situation with the University of Miami uh, leaving the Sun uh, Big East Conference now in the ACC uh, leaves a spot here in South Florida, the seventh largest media market in the, in the nation, uh, leaves that spot available and we're working hard to be able to fill that position. Well, how much longer do you see yourself uh coaching at Florida. Well, uh, I've made a commitment, my wife and I have made a commitment that uh, we would do this as long as we're productive, as long as the university thinks that uh, we're the best man for the job, and as long as my God gives me good health. Well, you're doing uh, you're doing some good things here at Florida Atlantic and uh, building it very nicely like you've done in you know your previous stops. So one last question, you open up in Birmingham at Legion Field against UAB. What will that mean to you being back at Legion Field where uh, you and Bear and even Gene Stallings used to run the sidelines. Well, uh, memories and uh, and uh, f uh, past are, are wonderful, and are, it's okay to think about them every once in a while. But the worst thing you can do when you get to, to my maturity is to spend all your time looking backwards. The most important thing uh, with us going into Birmingham this year is that we're going into a uh, program that is on the rise that had made great strides before since our first meeting back a year year two years ago where we got a win and then they beat us handily last year uh, we've uh, we've lost our great quarterback we've lost our entire offensive line uh, some good receivers so we're going to be young and uh, aggressive have a good quarterback but we have to uh, go up with a defense that can slow them down a little bit or we have no chance to win. If we could get a win, it would be a great start to our season. If we uh, don't, then we've got to look forward to Michigan State in in Detroit, Michigan on, on the next Saturday after that game. Well, Coach, it was a pleasure uh, catching up with you and talking about the, a legend in the sport of college football. Appreciate the opportunity, and good luck to you guys. Yeah, Coach, we appreciate it. We want a minute with you off the record here as we finish the interview.